I'm Henry Beerman from Torch SA. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to modify your Olight flashlight. More specific, Warrior 3S and Marauder 2. But of course, before we start on this, please note your Olight lights has got a, a worldwide warranty. You just take it back to the dealer where you bought it and they sort out your warranty. So, if you do this modification, you will void your warranty. So we do not recommend this modification. But nevertheless, we had some requests how you can actually do this. So we've decided, let's make a video. Let's show everyone. Let's share the knowledge. So what this is about, let me show you first, for instance, the Warrior 3S. I'm sure this is a familiar sight in the flashlight world. That's the Warrior 3S. So what we got, what what these lights actually got, if you switch it over to full power like that, and you near an object, it will dim down automatically. You can see there it's full power, there it dims down. So this actually got a proximity sensor built in, actually over there. So how can you actually disable it so it can be a bit annoying you know if you're near a mirror or near a wall or anything and it will just dim down it can be annoying but it is a safety feature as it won't burn your pocket if you carry it lens down in your pocket but some people don't like it for some reason people don't like it I think me included. I don't. I'm not a big fan of it. If you if you go camping with a headlamp that dims down automatically, then, oops, it just suddenly goes to low mode. It's a useful feature, but it's it's something to get used to. So on this light, to show you, there's the normal spec as O light bolted. You can see it dims down. This one we actually modified. Full power. There's no way this thing is going to dim down. So this was actually, we this light arrived and it had a, an issue where the sensor inside kept on activating. It will dim down this light automatically. So we decided to strip the light from the front and then play around with it. And we actually removed the sensor on it. So let's move on to the Marauder 2. Because this is actually what the video is about. So the Marauder 2... If you look at the lens here, of course, there's multiple LEDs. That's 14,000 lumens. We'll still do a review video on this 800 meters throw. It's an amazing little flashlight. Then you can put it on long distance, flat light, and so on. I'm not going to go into the technical part of it. We'll do a review on it. So, here we go. On the flat light. Flat light is the back part. If you switch it on full power and there's an object nearby, it dims down automatically. However, we've got two warranty units here where we're going to do the modification on. So I've already taken the bezels off on them because that takes a bit of time and if they get stuck a bit, you can struggle a bit. There is some methods to get it off. But we managed to get the bezels off. You just screw it off and then the bezel is gone. Then your magic can start. So if I look at this light here, you can see I've already gone, got it on flat light. And this light, unlock it, you need to spin it. On this light, it dims down automatically. Doesn't matter how far you are from the object. You'll see the, the, the new model we've got here or the, or the demo on full power. There it's on full power, there it dims. Full power, dims. There it dims, it will dim. There we go. So on this model, if I switch it full power, even if the object is far, it dims by itself. You can even see on camera these lights here. It was light up to the, up to the top there, and then once it dims down, it moves down. Look at this. It dims by itself. So, of course, your light has got warranty. If this happens to your flashlight, your Marauder 2, contact the dealer where you bought it, send it in, and they will either fix it or 
replace it. Of course, Olad has got a warranty, so they've got the choice to fix it. If they don't want to fix it, they'll send you a new one. They've got a really, really good warranty. So once you do this modification, your warranty is, of course, voided. But let me show you how to fix this flashlight. This light was replaced by Olight. Um, we send them a video and they just said, no, it's fine. Just replace it. There's no questions asked. Their warranty is really, really good. So let's move on. As you can see, spin it, unlock it. Double press for turbo. It keeps on dimming. It doesn't want to go to full power. You only got less than a second on full power. So, here's what you do. Remove the bezel. Of course, on your bezel, you've got almost like a little plastic strip that will sit there on your bezel. Please make sure you don't lose it. The, mine is still embedded in this lens here. We actually put this lens back here for the video, for the purpose that you can see how it dims down. Then you take a, a knife or anything. Of course, this unit was replaced, so we don't have much value to it we just want to show you how to fix it of course if we fix it it's not an original anymore it's a torch SA modified light so there's your lens out so things that you need to watch out for on this on this this TIR lens that you've got there here you've got those I'll call it some nipples standing out there that one stands out but a bit more, that one a bit more, and that one and that one. So of course, once you, ta you look at your light, you'll see they stick into these parts. It's lovely lights, lovely and so well made. So they just stick in there, and there you go. So if you look at a new one, it's a bit hard to see on camera, but I'm going to show you here. Just need to get a nice close focus. If you look at this light, you see there, there's your proximity sensor. That's the proximity sensor. So, to easy ident easily identify it once your lens is stripped, there's your on and off switch. So that is going to be that hole there. Once you take it out, you're going to have four holes because your lens has got four nipples that will stick in there. So there's my switch. It's not this one, not this one. It sits there. There's the, the one. So the only thing you need to do, this is really a simple, simple modification that you need to do. A really, really simple. The first thing, and it's cheap. I'm going to show you a cheap method how to fix it. Nothing fancy. Anyone, anyone literally can do this. So we took the lens out, and that's the hole. That's the one causing the issue on this light where... Full power, dim. Give it distance. But now, of course, it won't dim because the lens is out. So what's actually happening, the sensor inside is faulty. It's getting a false back reflection lead, um, reading with all the lumens bouncing back into this hole. And then it dims down the flashlight. That's the issue. It's a false reading. So an easy fix to this is, of course, claiming warranty, get a new one, and there you go. But if you don't really care about the sensor and you just want your flashlight to get going, then you do this. First of all, there's your switch again. There's your hole. Don't mistake it with these holes. So the first thing you need to do, you take your lens. Then you will see, let me zoom in here. Get some close by footage on this. I hope it's going to focus well. You see that one there, that nipple there, stands out a bit more. So there's going to be four of those. So you're going to need to work out which nipple is sticking into that hole. So we already managed to locate that part on this lens. So then you just take that extra part of that nipple and you break it off. You take a pair of pliers or your knife and you take it off. I recommend take a pair of pliers and just snatch it off you can see that one there is actually the one that was long so we just broke it off if you take a knife and your knife slips you might cut into these tir lenses first then you remove all 
six these screws that screw that screw that one that one and that one and that one and then this part here with all this flood leds sitting there is going to be a bit stuck because there's some an oily grease um, uh, heat resistant material that's on there so then you just need to take your knife and slowly but surely lift it out so i'm quickly going to take off these screws and get the panel off and then we'll continue from here back i've managed to get the screws out there's the all the leds on this plate you will see there's the greasy oil part i'm not too sure what they call this maybe you can help me out in the comment section but of course don't wipe this out this is important leave it there don't touch it with your finger it's gonna stain your clothes but that's it so things to keep in mind yeah you've got a little that red ring, ring actually shifted so that part needs to move over that screw part there needs to be that red ring and of course the other one is sitting there so there's six screws these very interesting these copper screws is actually the contact points for the leds so there's no wire or anything to to give these leds power they use these screws to power the leds and then the other four screws that you can see the holes off there is just to hold this plate in place you see there's my my paper is of course plugging it behind this tube this is what i recommend so there's your switch as you remember that sensor is sitting by that hole there so I'm going to stick this piece of paper in there. I've already molded it. And it's a black paper. Remember, this is an easy, simple fix. You're going to, you can, you'll be able to do a much more professional fix. I just wanted to show you an easy, cost-effective home fix. Where you don't need to spend money trying to solve it. So you can see there I've plugged that hole with this, this black carton. And then I'm just going to cut a small square on you of course the heat we had a question will the heat not influence this paper no it won't there's heat sinks and of course the paper is stuck in there so there I've got a little square part there and I just stick it over this it's going to be held into place by this gray material and that's it then I'm done then I just need to put this LED plate in its place again nicely over these holes it needs to go like this so line up all the holes there you can see so let me just quickly get the screws back and i'll see you right now the screws is in place now then comes probably the most difficult part of all and that is lining this plate in place because these nipples standing out like that these long holes needs to enter these holes there so you need to line them up perfectly so the easy part is if you if if you or to make it easier you just look over this lens make sure the leds line up and then you basically push down like so there we go so you can see that rubber there is not nicely in place just give it a bump with your knife or screwdriver there it's in place so let's test this light before i put the bezel on so we've removed or bypassed the proximity sensor on this let's unlock it it's currently on flat light mode there you go there's no dimming doesn't dim at all remember the fix that we did these lights was not working properly the sensor was faulty if it was it got switched on let me just put this lens back then i'll show you if it got switched on it will dim down automatically and then like so it will just dim down doesn't matter what the distance is it will just dim down on its own so we've managed to bypass this sensor 
and you will have full power the whole time doesn't matter if an object is nearby or far away of course these proximity sensors is safety features actually added by Olight so it won't set your car on fire or anything if it accidentally switched on but that's the method if you got the same issue as us or if you want to remove the sensor you just follow this guide so yes thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel we'll do a bit more reviews in future and a few more maybe some repair advice or um of course, some flashlight advice. So have a nice day and God bless.